What's up, Virgo? How are you doing? I hope you are doing oh so well. Listen, I'm also a Virgo if you're new to the channel, okay? One Virgo to another. Probably going to be a tough love reading. And I definitely will turn the comment section off. Wow, spirit is here. Look at the bottom of the deck. I promise you guys, like, I do not need to make this shit up. I do not have enough time in the day to set the cards in a certain way. Tarot just tells the story as it is. Of course, this is going to be a general reading. You can book me for a personal, but this is general. I'm reaching out to hundreds at least of Virgos, okay, based on the likes. But six of cups on the bottom of the deck. Listen, we can't let our past dictate our future. We can't. Life is about choices. You choose. It all starts with you, Virgo. It all starts with you. And I'm not saying that you are shackled to your excuses. Because I know, I know true Virgos, you, you're very motivated and you like to move forward. You know your capabilities. So I've shuffled the, the deck. Five of Cups came out in reverse. Now let's quickly talk about the spiritual meaning of a horse, okay? Because I quickly looked it up. It talks about uh, a spiritual meaning of the horse talks about courage. It talks about integrity, which I know you guys are. It talks about perseverance and power that you guys do have. You have that capability, okay? I'm not here to boost your flipping ego. I'm here to talk straight facts. Again, I am a Virgo, so I can freaking relate. Five of cups in the reverse position. Like, you can't let your past dictate now. You can't let your past keep you in the past, like you're in, and this is not going to resonate with everybody. Like, I'm sorry, I keep repeating myself. Yeah. But we can become jaded. We really can. We can become almost bitter. And that is because of all the shit that we've had, all the disappointing, uh, acts of others, people betraying us, letting us down. Cause that's what the five of cups is in the upright position, our broken heart. We can't let our broken hearts from others dictate what the universe will gift you and bring you. Some of us are stuck in an old way of thinking that like we really, really, really need to start letting go of past traumas. I was talking to my daughter today and yeah, you can skip the skip it forward like if you really want to get into this reading. But I was talking to my daughter today on the way to school and, you know, daughters and mothers, you know, we gossip and we talk a lot. It's just it's just in our nature it's when we have our little talks. So and and I'm very interested in how the young people work and their behaviors because we all have our own inner child and everybody knows like what we used to be like before all the worry all the disappointment set in and there's a particular person in her class um that 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 is already thriving like uh you know based on the attention that they get from the opposite sex like a, a you know a girl she's a girl right and uh, her mood's up and down, but from what I see, the basis of it is she's already looking for attention from the opposite sex. And I think, well, where can this stem from? It could be a matter of self-esteem, but as cliche as it sounds, a lot of things stem from home, childhood traumas, okay? And our parents, some of us don't really intentionally, we put a lot of pressure on our parents. And we go through the stages, especially teenagers, and we, we may hate our parents or not have a, have an estranged relationship, right? I feel like I'm going off course, but I, I just, I was thinking, why? Why is this child already looking for attention? And I suppose I grew up with a lot of boys around me. I was the only girl for at least, for many years. And I felt, uh, like a misfit, I felt not good enough and stuff like that. So I, I just think, you know, it does start from home, you know, and that own inner child, right? And um, and and how we feel about ourselves, you know. Sometimes in life, uh, it, it really does start with self belief, right? Instead of getting that validation from others, like I do it myself, I'm guilty of it. You know, we, we do look for compliments sometimes or cues or we feel good when people appreciate us or give us a good compliment. So, yeah, I just think that a lot of things stem from childhood. And as Tara is saying here, we need to let it go. Let it go. Like we need to really not allow shit that's happened to us in the past. 
I'm going to draw out some oracle cards I already drew out um, and they're beautiful um, towards the end of this reading. OK, but it's time to let go. It's time to not let your old stories become a part of you. OK, and and, and crying over spilt milk like shit. We make mistakes. Nobody is perfect, Virgo. Like we we continue to move. Change is inevitable. Energy continues to move. So for some of you, you know, uh, and you know, I can definitely take a piece of this energy. It's about looking to the positive rather than the negative. Stop limiting shit because of your experiences, right? So, and I'll put some timestamps in the description, the comment section below, in the description box below for like when the different parts of this reading uh, go forth, right? So that was the first card. What is the next card, Spirit? What is the message to date for Virgos? The Son of Swords. Now, I feel like... Um, there's something inside of you. Like, there's two sides of you, I feel. I feel like there's two sides of you, Virgo. Like, you're, you're always rushing to save the day. Or you, you love to help others. However, maybe you're putting the energy into the wrong people. And, I, you know, when you say wrong when you say wrong people gifted, what do you mean? It's my family, my friends. Sometimes you really have to meditate, protect your energy, take a step back. Reflect. I feel like there's a lot of impulsive stuff that's that's gone on. And that's because, you know, uh, it's like sometimes our body, we're on default, right? Subconsciously, we do stuff that we don't, you know, our body reacts to shit. And we don't even know we're doing it because we're on default. But once we can take a step back, like take a step out of your situation and look in, wow, you can move forward with the three of ones here, you know? The power of free, that solid, that power, that trinity. Yeah, so, because you want to move forward, don't you? I think a lot of you want to move past the bullshit. And whether that's self-bullshit, others' bullshit, but you've got a lot of ideas, you've got a lot of creative visions. It's coming, it will come. Naturally, you're an earth sign, you're a creative person. What else, Divine Spirit, is the message for this reading? Let me just take the opportunity to shout out all my Virgos. I friggin' love you guys. Like, you know who you are. We have a lot of regulars. Look, the, the King of Swords. Those beady eyes of the owl. Like, you do analyse everything, but you're also very logical. You can be very logical. Maybe Spirit is saying, use your intelligence. Use this to... Use all the shit that's happened in the past to your advantage and, and take control. It's not, sometimes it's not always about your heart. Sometimes it's just about using your sense, your common sense that we naturally have. Sometimes we push it aside, you know, for whatever reason. So, Spirit, tell me what else us Virgos need to know. Yeah, slow down. I think it's a case of slowing down. In certain aspects, you know, nothing great came overnight. Rome wasn't built in a day. You're very determined, okay? But sometimes you put too much pressure on yourselves, Virgo. We put too much pressure on ourselves. Nothing's perfect, okay? Some of you got a big focus on money. I put up that post, didn't I? You know, we, we could... Um, Okay, so I feel like, um, okay, I'm just, I'm babbling on now a little bit. <clears throat> Some of you feel stuck, could be stuck in your sadness, okay? Some of you may be taking harmful shortcuts, rushing into things, especially with uh, these two cards here. It's kind of like the same energy. A lot of us can become a bit lazy at times, okay? Some of us can work our butts off too much. Being a bit over conventional at times. I understand at times you feel stuck, but it's about being diligent. It's about your hard work, your determination. I know all of these attributes that you have. Yeah, you, you're able to build bit by bit. You've, you've made so much progress. So at times, yeah, we may get stuck and we feel like, what the fuck? But as long as you 
as long as you take sight that, you know, shit, actually, I can see what's happening now. And this is what I'm going to do to to get out of it. You know, giving yourself permission. Because a lot of you are feeling blocked with the... Um, is this the Nine of Cups? This is the Nine of Cups. So I don't know what way that wanted to come out. But the Nine of Cups in... In the reverse position, okay? It talks about smugness it feels about not appreciating the simple things in life and quite frankly from someone that suffers from a lot of depression myself at times and I get really low and I get it Virgo you know we don't uh, we didn't expect life to be how it is we, we paint life to be a picture and sometimes it doesn't turn out that way okay which can lead us to become jaded negative focusing on the past but if you want the universe to gift you with what it is that you truly want, yeah, you've got to continue to manifest and continue to believe, to receive, you know? Maybe you haven't fulfilled everything that you wanted to fulfill in life. Maybe you never thought you'd be here. Maybe you want to speed things up. But like I said, nothing came. Nothing great came overnight. Emperor card, I love it. Divine masculine. A lot of you are alpha females. Like you know what you're capable of. You're capable of getting back on track. Finding the route to your situations and what it, whatever it is that you've been through. Through reflection, through doing that work. Using your intelligence, being honest with yourself. The emperor card is a beautiful card. This is someone that takes action. This is what you need to do take action and again it's not going to freaking resonate with everybody i don't want to keep repeating myself but yeah and anyone and I'm, honestly this is just to whoever if you take this comment personally then it's probably because that's you that's your reflection of yourself not me okay but uh, those people that want to leave shady comments like i got called a witch yesterday um someone said can you stop repeating yourself like, get the fuck out of here. I don't need it. I don't need that suppressed energy. Because we already put ourselves down a lot enough. So I don't need people to put their two pence in. It's a good old, good, good old saying, I'm sure. You know, if you had some sort of role model in your life, then it's usually treat others how you want to treat yourself. If you've got nothing good to say, then don't speak. This is about taking power. Taking leadership now. Bringing structure. Using plans strategic plans thinking logically because the promotion's there for the taking it's about building your your confidence the emperor is fucking confident they don't give a shit <coughs> and there's a lot of confusion a lot of you are confused This is a this is the beginning now. This is your I wouldn't want to say chance. This is your opportunity. Yeah? This is your opportunity to notice that there is a light at the end of the tunnel, regardless. Some of you really feel low, like you're not good enough. I promise you, you're flipping R. Like we need to, we don't play the victim now. This is not this, the energy that we need to apply. This is about really focusing now, sheet. Focusing on your worth. You know your capabilities, but do you? Do you really believe it? So, let's just get to the oracle cards. Now listen, Phoenix Rising came out again. Phoenix Rising, baby. How's that for a happily ever after? I don't even want to read from the book. You can actually write your own script. You can actually take charge of your life and be that emperor. And not all this wishy-washy. Wishy thoughts come and go. Don't let them linger. Your thoughts are not the full aspect of you. The people that you have around you is important. Not isolating yourself is important. Phoenix rising from the ashes. Resurrection rebirth, baptism. Be your own first priority. Like, 
Shut the back door and don't let the cold in, baby. Manifesting your beautiful future. Look at her painting in her house. Making home feel safe. Home is where you should feel safe. If you're not, if you don't feel safe at home, that's not home. Voyage. You already have all the answers. Deep down you do. You know where it is you want to go, what it is that you want to do. Don't let shit that's happened to you stop you from being the person that you're meant to be. you got trust. Trust that you are on the right path. Trust that you, all these lessons, all the, everything that you've been through, the good, the bad and ugly, happens for a reason. Trust in God. Trust in the angels that you're protected. You know, people, people that have spirits, uh, loved ones in spirit, right? Parents grandparents, siblings, children, trust that they are there with you, feel their love around you, like improving health, it's about not only your physical health, your mental health, your emotional health, these are the things that are paramount in your life, they should always come first, cleanse and detoxify, with great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. At your request, we'll help you to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress, as well as ease any sorrow at shedding your old ways. Wow. Give your cares, worries and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body. Cleanse, detoxify, showering, Cleansiness is, is closeness to God, as they say. Washing has a cleansing effect on your body. Wash away your sorrow, wash away your past, wash away the pain. Don't become toxic or don't be toxic to yourself or others. And I'm not saying you are, so let's try not take shit personal because we're, we're sensitive beings. At times we can all be toxic as fuck. It's time to open up and, and, and radiate your essence that you are so naturally about anyway. As the angels say, you've got the nine of wands. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activism. You know, it's all about the environment. It's all about the people you have around you. Nine of Wands talks about it's not a time to give up. It's a time to keep going. I know you are guarded. I know you've been let down and things get heavy. But look at this. You got the, the judgment card. The message says starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past, taking the past as lessons and blessings. Some of you've got children and you want to do better than your parents and you want to give them the best version of you. This is realizing that, you know, forgive yourself first, forgive others. And I know you got this. I know how easy it is for us to get stuck in a rut, but I know how easy it is for you to give your best self to others. You give such great advice. Take your own advice. Sometimes I read back these readings and I'm like, girl, you better listen to it. You better listen to yourself now. I will all, uh, it will all be better if you just make a decision over analyzing a problem, find a compromise, find the balance. It's okay to not feel okay, but it's not okay to be stuck in that. Because you're not doing yourself any good. There's no point sitting in denial. For those of you that can be sitting in, I'm fine. I'm all good. Bullshit. The last card, you've got Queen of Pentacles. You are mature. You are very practical, generous and happy. That is your natural essence. It's the little things for Virgo. And we're cool. We're very, very laid back, easygoing people. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful. Practical and wise advice. You give so much wise and practical advice. You need to take your own advice now. Does that make sense? I'm out of here, Virgo. I'm going to do a couple more readings, so make sure you check them out today. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I friggin' love you. Be kind to others, as I always say. But most importantly, be kind to you. And a catch one rebound, baby.